Alrighty folks, well, welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to be replacing the fuel pump on my uh, FD RX-7. So i got a couple things here. i got a uh, Walboro uh, fuel pump. Uh, when you buy the Walboro fuel pump, it comes with this installation kit that has just about everything you need. And then I got a new um, gas tank gasket from Atkins Rotary. So the fuel pump I got directly from uh, Walboro, right from the website. And then Atkins Rotary, uh, I got them their website as well. Uh, both of them only take about uh, a couple days to get here, so super fast shipping. So, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, first thing you want to do <coughs> is disconnect the uh, ground on the battery. So we're going to do that, and I'll meet you back in a second. All right, next thing you want to do is go ahead and depressurize the uh, fuel tank. Easy enough, just go ahead and crack the cap. And you'll hear the pressure release. And that's that. All right, so your fuel pump um, and access to the fuel tank is underneath there. If you're like me and you have the uh, uh, Bose system back here, you're gonna have to remove it easy enough. You can see once you peel back the um, carpet in the trunk, you can see all the little spots uh, where it's connected. Go ahead and disconnect those and take the system out and then we can get to that so back here in a second all right so now i got the bose worm out so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take that panel off there it's held on by those four screws and i'll be back in a second all right once you get those screws out you'll see that the um let me try to get a light there so the main thing holding the uh, cover on are those two electrical connectors. So the one ground there and then that one there. So once you disconnect those, you'll be able to move this out of the way. All right, so I got those two disconnected. Now, if you take a look at this, uh, you have one, two, three, four um, lines on here. I think if I'm not mistaken you really only need to disconnect these two these two you should be able to leave intact you can just undo these um, bolts here and then you should be able to move these out of place there is a little clip up here keeping this one on but mine was actually disconnected so just keep that in mind but yeah I think you can just slide these two off and then just these two lines are the ones you have to disconnect nevertheless I'm gonna mark these I'm just gonna go one two three and four um just so i put them uh back together correctly uh and we'll go from there so all right i'll be back in a little bit all right so i believe i got all the hoses disconnected or moved out of the way that i need to now i just need to remove these screws keeping the um fuel pump hanger in place and i should be able to lift the whole thing out all right so we got the whole assembly out uh it wasn't really that bad now what we're gonna have to do is uh, disconnect these um, lines here, or these um, uh, which we call electrical connectors there, unscrew them. That goes up here to this electrical unit there. Uh, and then we just take that screw off there, uh, and then this whole thing comes out. So, uh, not too bad. Um, and then you have, it just kind of connects on there for that main fuel feed. So, all right, we're going to get to work on that, and we'll be back a sec. All right, when you get the old pump out, right, inside that main fuel feed line, uh, from top to bottom, you're going to have that little plastic piece that's going to be in there first. Then you're going to have an O-ring. Then you're going to have this little spacer. So don't worry about it. The kit uh, that you get from uh, Wobbler will come with a new one of those guys, new one of those guys, and you have to retain that thing and then that rubber boot that goes on there. So uh, just keep that in mind. So we'll put it all back together and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so the installation kit's gonna come with a new filter and a little retainer pin to, or clip ring, whatever, uh, to fit on there. So don't lose that guy and be careful putting it on so it doesn't like drop on the floor or some shit. So anyway, there you go. All right, so uh, I got that in and uh, assembled. Um, when you buy the installation kit, it's gonna come with a new uh, rubber, you know, uh, <laughs> pad or whatever to go in there. Um, you can discard your old one. 
uh, and that's that. So hopefully that, that works. Now what we have to do is uh, we have to change out these electrical connectors. So blue is positive, black is negative, and we need to install this new electrical connector to go into the pump here. So uh, we're going to do that, and then we'll be back in a second. All right, everybody, so uh, it is the next day. A little bit of an update here. Um, you know, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I wasn't doing it right or something. I don't know, but there's this... I, I had a hard time using the um, stock hookup to get the uh, Walbro pump in, and, and that's why... And the reason why that is is there's this... If you can see it, there's this little raised portion here um, that is not on the um, stock pump right uh, and what was happening is that wasn't allowing wasn't allowing this to like sit all the way on there and I mean I was able to get it but it looked like kind of cockeyed and I don't know to tell you the truth I just didn't trust it so uh, what I did is I basically just cut that piece off and got some uh, fuel line uh, and set it up much like a um, FC uh, fuel pump is uh, so I don't know we're going to try this. I mean, I saw, um, there's a couple people out there I saw on the internet who had to kind of do that uh, with different aftermarket fuel pumps and whatnot. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, if for some reason it just doesn't work or I run into issues, then I'll just buy a whole new um, hanger assembly and, I don't know, just maybe just go with a new stock pump or something like that. But anyway, so that's what I did. Is like I said, I just cut that um, piece off and hooked it back up and then it all like went to bed went back together just fine and anyway so so there it is assembled um like i said we got the new electrical connector on there uh the new filter and whatnot so uh yeah we'll go ahead and get it installed oh and then uh i, I also went ahead and replaced the um the seal i mean it was super easy it just comes right off and goes right back on there is a um handedness to it in the sense that it only goes on uh, one way and basically just try to line up the holes here for the little um, tangs or whatever and if they don't line up just kind of rotate at 180 and it'll it'll line up so all right we'll we'll get it installed and I'll be back in just all right so that's it I got it all back in there and all hooked up and uh, I'm just going to close this up we'll reconnect my electrical connectors and then close this all up and then fire it up and see how it goes um, just a couple things I mean this really wasn't hard um, like I said aside from the issue um like i said with the uh walbro fuel pump it just kind of being different on uh, having to modify the hanger a little bit um and honestly it might not have been that big of a deal it might have been just fine it was just kind of sitting in there crooked uh and i don't know it just didn't really seem right so that's why i decided to take the action that i did but th that was completely fine um so anyway but we'll see we'll see how it goes once i fire this up um a couple things i would recommend number one uh, get yourself a magnetic um, uh, parts tray uh, to keep all the screws and shit so they don't go flying around. A, so they don't fall in your fuel tank, and then B, so they just don't go flying all around your trunk because some of these screws are pretty small. And along those lines, I would recommend... Um, I'm sorry, I keep getting my camera uh, shadow on the way. I would recommend just um, replacing the screws that hold on the um, fuel... Uh, uh, pump hanger. Um, as you can see what I've done there, I've, I've just gone ahead and replaced them. They're uh, M4 by 0.7 uh, screws. And the reason why I recommend it is, here, let me show you. I mean, the stock ones that are in there, I mean, they're real small and diminutive. Um, and honestly, I mean, I didn't have a problem getting any of them out, but I can only imagine over time, these are either going to strip out or kind of whatever. So, I mean, you can see they're just looking kind of old. So, um, instead of putting these these old ones back in there, uh, I just went ahead and replaced them uh, with some new stainless steel ones. I, I just recommend doing it. Save yourself the hassle down the road. Uh, but it all worked out. It really wasn't that bad. Um, so I'm going to put this back together and fire it up, and we'll go from there. Um, if I run into any issues, I'll, I'll kind of do a follow-up video. But for now, that's it. Uh, everybody have a good night.